Hey guys and welcome back to Cast Iron Wednesday and today's video is going to be all about Finex. I made the trip down to Portland so stick around and you guys will see more. Hey guys, and I am here at the Finex Warehouse in Portland, Oregon. I made the trip out here before Memorial Day weekend. I was very excited to come down here. I've been trying to do this for the longest time and very happy to be here. So as you can see right away, guys, they have a display of the cast iron skillets. They have the sand mold there as well, where the uh, sand is pressed into so that they can have that mold so they can pour the iron into it. Very cool stuff. And you get to see the process of the skillets which is a very nice thing to me it's very interesting so they also have a small storefront with shirts sweaters uh, cookware you know anything that you want from their lineup you, you can get it there so very nice and i was as you can see i was very excited to be there i got there a little bit later in the afternoon i was hoping to be there earlier but uh sure enough they were kind enough to give me a tour even though like i mentioned it was later in the day so very excited to show you guys the finish on this was different when you guys first started, I think. It was a little bit different. We've just gotten better at polishing over time. Because I've seen, I, I was thinking about getting, and I'm sorry for interrupting, but I, I was uh, looking on, on eBay and I saw um, a number eight. And I know that the uh, lip was a little bit different. Right. And uh, I want to say the finish was a lot smoother. But you guys Before? left. Yeah, no, you guys. I think they're smoother now. Oh, they're smoother now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah. yeah, this is the stone tumbler. So all of the Finex products get stone tumbled. Wow. Are you guys still doing the uh, flaxseed oil or did uh -huh. you guys change it out? Yeah, flaxseed oil? Flaxseed oil. Okay. Yeah. So, so you guys put it in there, seed, bird seed. And okay. then we apply the organic flaxseed flax seed oil to the bird seed. And then we put the metal in there and the bird seed applies the oil to the metal. Okay. And then we just clean it up in this uh, you know, area with a, mostly the air hose. Okay but also the rag and whatever else. And then we just bake in these commercial ovens. This is where we would drill the handle of the single handle items. And okay. the brass and the iron get drilled at the same time. So the hole lines up. Okay. And then over here, we manually compress the spring. And that's what allows- This is something I wish I had. Insert the pin, the, yeah. whole, the whole assembly together. Wow. Do as much production here as we used to because we've transferred most of it to most of it yeah. all right guys so i did cut him off a little bit short here and what he was talking about is actually tennessee which is lodge if you guys do know that finex is owned by lodge you are getting you know a finex skillet that is produced by lodge so that is actually a very interesting tidbit that he gave me so if you are from the east coast lodge is making your finex skillet now, I also want to give a shout out to Aaron White for the free Finex sweater, along with the stickers. Now, he told me, take as many stickers as, you, as you'd like. And, um, you know, I want to give out some of these stickers to you guys. So in the comments below in this video, let me know what is the favorite thing that you like to cook with your cast iron skillet. And it doesn't have to be Finex. You know, it can be any any skillet that you use. Um, just let me know in the comments below and I will choose, you know, random winners. And contact you guys and ship out some stickers so anyway if you guys are interested as I mentioned put that in the comments below now going back to the video guys as you can see I'm back home and I'm already using my Dutch oven this is gonna be the first time I did season wash and season this and obviously if you guys know me and you guys know my channel the first thing that I always do the first thing that I always cook is always gonna be some chicken tenders chicken nuggets so um, that's what's going on in the five quart Dutch oven. Now in my number 10 over here, I have some chicken that I'm grilling. And uh, this chicken is actually for a salad that my wife recently started making. And I don't know exactly where she got this recipe from, but the dressing that goes with it and the, the salad uh, itself is great. It's great tasting salad. So 
Uh, I usually don't like salads and I usually don't want to make salads, but if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments below as well. And I will post a recipe of this um, salad and uh, post a video for you guys. So anyway, now let's talk about Finex because this is what the video is about. It's not for everybody. Um, the price range is very high. Obviously, if you're, you know, if you're a cast iron user and you're an F, you know, aficionado, if you guys like cast iron, then you'll most likely make the investment. But for those of you that are, I want to say purists and, you know, and I'm talking about vintage cast iron cookware, this is going to possibly not appeal to you as much. But to me, I like all kinds of cast iron cookware, whether it's vintage, whether it's new, modern, lodge, I like it all. And to me, I like making the investment in this because of just the elegance that Finex has. You know, when you set this on your table or when you're cooking with this, I mean, it has an elegance to it. So the other thing that I want to mention is not only is it beautiful, but it's also very great at what it's meant to be, a cast iron skillet. So if you want to take this camping, you can do so. It's not going to suffer any kind of damage. Uh, it's not going to warp on you because it's thick cast iron. Um, the spring handle, it's not going to melt on you or, or, you know, get damaged whatsoever if you were to put it out on a campfire. Um, high quality, just overall, not only, as I mentioned, is it good looking, it's also high quality. And uh, any cast iron skillet can do that. But Finex is on another level. And it's just something that you have to, you know, cook with yourself in order for you to kind of appreciate that. But Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. And as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you guys for watching.